MW Cavalry is one of the most underrated 2-in-1 boards you could get this year. We have also brought a carbon fiber electric skateboard and a bamboo electric skateboard, one of the best selling boards on the market. Today I will be your host and I will be explaining to you how this board packs a bunch of unique features and why this board will be one of the most safest, most practical, reliable electric skateboards you could get on the market. When I go to price, the On My Way Cavalry will be priced around $1,599. Looking at its competitors, they will be both priced around the same price point as well. Moving on to the dimensions, the On My Way board will be around 44.5 inches in length, 12.7 inches in width, and 6.9 inches in height. Now compare this to the other two boards, the On My Way Cavalry offers more length, more width, and even more height to this board. Now in comparison to its competitors, the On My Way Cavalry is a pretty large 2-in-1 electric skateboard. Board. This could have some benefits to riders as I will be talking about later about its top speed. This might be a disadvantage to other riders who don't feel like carrying a large electric skateboard all the time. So it's honestly your preference. The weight of this board will be around 38.5 pounds which is quite on the heavier end but keep in mind this is a 2-in-1 electric skateboard that has a lot of performance and a lot of specs. However don't worry about the heavy weight because On My Way has included a very unique carry handle that could be mounted on the front end of the deck that makes it a breeze and it's very easy to grab on and just pull this board definitely removes all that excessive weight out of your hands The deck we are looking at here is a carbon fiber and composite fiberglass deck. This is a very unique crafted deck and On My Way is guaranteeing a lifetime warranty on this deck. Lifetime. There is no other eSkate company that will guarantee a lifetime warranty. This is a very huge big deal. Just really shows the confidence that this company has especially for their deck. But looking at a more close up into this deck, it has a nice drop down which really sinks your feet in and it has mild flares on both ends with minimal concave. When you go on their website, you could choose a different level of stiffness with a low, medium, or high based on your rider weight. This is a very unique feature that this company is offering. Not a lot of electric skateboards out there will have an electric skateboard that is suitable for your rider weight. So if you're a heavier rider, this is a major plus for you. Now bringing back the competition, a lot of 2-in-1 boards you will see these days are either carbon fiber or bamboo electric skateboards. They are even now offering bamboo electric skateboards with a solid pack underneath which is still on the stiff end like a carbon fiber electric skateboard. When I'm riding on a carbon fiber deck, if I hit a really bad bump going at very high top end speeds, it could be a very bumpy ride and it's not very comfortable. However, it is more stiff and it's more stable. Now with a bamboo deck, you have nice flex to it which will absorb a lot of terrible road conditions. However, that rebound could sometimes throw you off especially if you hit a really bad pothole or bump or crack on the road. The On My Way Cavalry is different. This board will go through that pothole or bump and you will not get thrown off feel any discomfort at all. When you get on this deck you will have a solid battery cover however you will still get flex out of this deck. You're not going to get as much flex as a bamboo deck but you will still get relatively good flex and good stiffness like a carbon fiber deck. So what I'm basically saying is this deck is right in between a carbon fiber and bamboo deck. But if you really want that middle ground, this board is definitely perfect for those real world conditions. If you are still confused of how this deck even works, they have taken a deck which is the upper layer and a piece of foam that is stuck in between the deck and the battery. The battery is held by four brackets on each corner, keeps the battery afloat, and your deck could take those vibrations and all those bad impacts. Definitely a huge game changer for this electric skateboard. Besides the deck, you also have a bunch of cool smaller features that you could definitely notice about this board. First foremost, if you look at the rear end of the board, you will have a smart brake light that is interactive with your remote. This is a huge game changer because if you are on the road, now you could alert others that you are slowing down, just adding more safety for yourself. If you would also like, On My Way offers a headlight kit, which is very easy to install and integrated into the board. So there's no external battery pack. You just plug it in and you go. These lights will offer up to three. 3600 lumens for the front end of your board which is definitely brighter than the most popular eSK lights you could get on the market. Another cool thing I have to mention is that when you're unboxing this board you will get a Y tool instead of a T tool which is honestly a huge deal because no other company really packs in a Y tool for their 2-in-1 electric skateboards so now people can't really say that Evolve is the only one that does this.
Moving on to the trucks, the On My Way Cavalry will be offering 9.5 inches wide forged double kingpin CNC trucks. These trucks are forged and CNC'd, which will offer a nice, robust, and durable truck, which will be able to handle these high speed conditions. Now, when I first took a first glance at these trucks, I thought to myself, wow, they are pretty narrow for the type of top speed you are getting out of this board. But don't get me wrong, these are probably one of the most stable double kingpin trucks you will ever get on a production 2-in-1 electric skateboard. With an excellent turning radius, the bushings that these trucks will use are 106 durometer cone shaped bushings with an extra set of 98 durometer bushings if you want that more carby feel. I had the 106 A durometer bushings on and I was definitely flying down the streets with this board. I had no speed wobbles at all, I felt very stable, and I also forget to mention that these trucks have a really great carving capability and I did not loosen these bushings at all. There was no adjustment made and I was able to carve like a king. Please note these trucks are as narrow as the Meepo Hurricane and Evolve Hadian. However, because of the construction of these trucks, it allows this board to be capable to reach up to those higher end speeds. Now this is one main topic I could talk about to most Iske riders is that double kingpin boards are not very safe at top end speeds. When you hit at that top end speed, there is a chance once you let go of the throttle, you might wobble a little bit due to the motors and just the double kingpin truck in general. Now a lot of people will say you could throw on riptides, will it make the ride better? I am 100% sure. However, these bushings were able and capable to make this board push it up to these higher top speeds and I had no problem coasting around 35 to 40 miles per hour. So that is a very huge benefit of the doubt for this company and what they are doing to push for this board. On my way does not care about the most fastest accelerating electric skateboard. They care about your comfort, reliability, and making sure you feel safe on the road. For the wheels, On My Way will be offering three different types of wheels. You could choose from big pneumatic tires ranging all the way down to urethane wheels. Starting off, we have the biggest wheels, which is preferably my favorite, the 175 by 50 millimeter wheels. These are probably one of my most favorite, most comfortable all-terrain tire wheels I have yet tried. This tire has a unique tread pattern and it is not like any other Eastgate tire you have seen. The thread is very thick and like On My Way claims, these tires will probably last for thousands of miles. And I am sure Sure that they are not lying at all just because of the tire construction and how durable these tires look i am confident that these tires will last for long distances the second option you could choose is their 150 by 50 millimeter wheel by far one of the grippiest pneumatic tires i have ever tried the wide contact patch and flat profile allows these pneumatic tires to grip aggressively at corners and be able to make sharper turns and have zero loss of traction at all when i had these tires on i was able to make 90 degree turns with confidence, which was very bizarre. You could really feel the G-Force turning with these wheels. Both of these wheels will be offering a 55T pulley setup, which will allow the board to go up to 35 to 37 miles per hour, depending on your right of weight. If you look at these bearings, On My Way has done something special and unique here. These bearings can easily go on a 10 millimeter axle. However, On My Way has added this special spacer that goes on each side of the wheel, which will allow you to tighten up the wheel as tight as you want, and you don't have to worry about ruining your free roll. Now what I mean by this, and every e-skater will definitely understand this, that if you don't have a washer or even have a washer on your bearing, if you just make it too tight, the wheel might stop spinning properly. So you do have to adjust it and make sure the wheel is free rolling. With these spacers, you don't have to worry about that at all. You could tighten it to the max and these wheels will freely spin. Also, if you look at the hubs for these tires, they are a very unique design On My Way has made, which reminds me a lot of hubs that EV cars will be using on the market. The last set of wheels will be a urethane set of wheels which is a 97 by 52 millimeter wheel with a 78a durometer these wheels were okay in my opinion however i do recommend for them to go for a larger urethane wheel option because the board is a bit too low to the ground which could get scratched up easily and i would also recommend them to make the wheels wider just for that contact patch however just running with these wheels i was still able to hit around 38 miles per hour which is still very impressive and scary for urethane wheels if you're a daredevil you should definitely go for these wheels same thing with with the urethane wheels they are eight millimeter bearings with built-in spacers which is a very unique feature that most electric skateboard companies would probably not do the 
top speed OMW is claiming on this board is up to 37 miles per hour. When I tested out this board, I was definitely able to achieve these speeds and even hit higher top speed with this board. A lot of electric skateboards out there might have false advertising on their top speed and might not be able to hit those top speeds. This board had no problem at all. I wanted to push and test this board out even further. When I took it downhill, I was able to achieve a speed up to 40 miles per hour. That is more than their advertised top speed and this board was very capable of going down this hill. I did not feel any speed wobbles. I was actually very comfortable. Surprisingly, I didn't even realize I hit 40 miles per hour. If you still don't believe this board is capable of hitting these top speeds, don't worry at all because this board was able to flash a speed camera, which just honestly blows my mind. This is one of the first production boards I have to actually flash a speed camera. I have tried other production boards in the past that claimed up to 37 miles per hour. However, I was never able to flash a speed camera at all. So this board was definitely going above 35 miles per hour because I was able to flash this camera about 20 times. This board kept launching and pushing to its top speed no matter what. Because of this insane top speed this board has, when you line this board up with the Meepo Hurricane or Evolve Hadian, they will stand no chance, especially in the 0 to 30 time, which allowed more distance covered in a shorter time. Moving on to the electronics, on my way we'll be using a 12S4P 864 watt hour battery using Samsung 50S cells. This battery capacity has a perfect configuration and it is above average in capacity compared to most other 2-in-1 electric skateboards, ranging at a similar price point. The battery housing of this board is a metal case similar to what the Mebo Hurricane uses, very robust and will withstand a lot of impact on the road and definitely keep your battery in a safe condition. The cells are also very reliable given by Samsung and they will be offering you a ton of range especially from these cells. The range you will be getting from the Cavalry is an advertised 34 miles on their website. Now in real world range conditions when I tested out this board in ideal weather I myself weigh around 165 pounds and I am a pretty fast rider and with the 6 and 7 inch tires I got around 20 to 25 miles of range riding around modes 3 and 4 and you could easily get up to 30 miles if you are riding around modes 2 and 3. If you slap on the urethane wheels, this board can easily go over 30 miles of range if you are a fast rider and 40 miles of range if you are going to be cruising and riding casual. Please note these are for ideal conditions. Looking at the motors, OMW will be using dual 3,500 watt belt driven motors around 165 kV. This is a pretty standard wattage for around this price point and it will be outputting a lot of power. With the hill climb, on my way will be claiming around 40% and I am sure without a benefit of the doubt, this board can easily climb up any hill without any problems at all. When I was testing out this board, I was easily flying up these hills around 30 to 35 miles per hour. This board will not break down or have any sweat at all. All. When I touch these motors after, no overheating problem either. They're definitely efficient, not pushing at its peak power. However, this is what will allow the board to keep on pushing. When you look at these motor mounts on the board, one thing I did like a lot was that On My Way had specifically gathered the perfect belt size and perfect pulley size to ensure you that when you are changing these stock setups, you don't have to adjust your motor at all. Now, I found this really satisfying and I just had to include it in this segment. If you have been enjoying what you're watching so far, please leave a like and comment below what you think about this board. OMW will be using a Hobbywing ESC that has a cool app I will be talking about later. Comparing this Hobbywing ESC, Hobbywing is undeniably one of the most smoothest and reliable ESCs you could use for production boards. When I was using this ESC, the board is definitely very mellow from the start. It has no intentions of throwing you off from the beginning. It has a really great mid acceleration. When you're reaching speeds around 20 to 30 miles per hour, this board is not afraid to pull. And when I tell you, this board will keep on pulling until it reaches up to that top speed. It has a a ton of torque in the mid range. I was still able to hit up to 30 miles per hour around 20% battery. Braking is also very smooth and no problem with this board and has a very unique bite at the end when you reach towards 0 miles per hour. The board will kind of grasp and hold down a little bit tighter at the end. In my previous videos I have notably stated that Lingi ESCs will not move around if you are holding the brakes. They will basically stay in a park mode and they will not roll. Now hobby wing boards used to roll down hills however with this ESC when you are coming to a complete stop if you push the board just a little bit it will go back and have no problem staying parked in its place 
looking at the remote on w will be using a hobby wing oled remote this is a very basic hobby wing remote however what i find it cool is that omw has implemented their logo in a nice little emblem which gives it a nice premium feel to that remote now this remote has your basic functions as a forward and reverse and your four speed modes and if you also want to turn on your headlights and brake lights you could double press the power button also if you would like you could also go in the settings on your remote or the app and you could adjust your acceleration and braking power as well Looking at the IP rating, this board is rated at an IP around IP56. You have the battery casing, which is a huge metal box that has the battery and controller sliding out from the rear end and closed with a bunch of screws and a nice rubber gasket. Water will be definitely very difficult to get into this battery enclosure. You definitely have that capability with the way the board is constructed here. Looking at the app, OMW will be using Tuya Smart, which is a main app for Hobbywing. And like I said previously on a remote, you could check a lot of cool things, including your own battery percentage if you are not a fan of the bars on the remote. And you could go into settings and adjust a bunch of stuff. Now, this is great because around this price point, this board has an app, which other boards don't. If you look at Evolve, it is a premium electric skateboard company. So seeing the OMW board also have an app makes it very exciting just to see it competing and keeping up with these bigger brands. warranty of this board will be around 12 months which is up to one year and don't forget about that lifetime deck warranty that on my way guarantees that this deck will not snap at all altogether we could all agree that this board is definitely one of the most unique electric skateboards you could get on the market as of now this board was one of my favorite boards to test out because of the capability it had and the reliability like i said omw wanted to create the safest and most comfortable board they did not have an interest for extreme acceleration their main focus was on the premium and have solved many real small problems that many e-skaters will face to this day overall have to give a huge round of applause to this board anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and comment down below what you think and subscribe also check out my channel you can watch my other versus videos i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one